Alright, well that was fun. Let's go play something. Just random co-op. Eh, let's do a random battle. So they're giving away some good uh, rewards if you play with one of the... Um, you know, the starships. Here we go. Playing with the Edgar. So this ship I was able to just recently get. It's pretty powerful. It cost me... By the time I did all the upgrades, over 50 million of the silver coins, which is a lot. And every time you run it, it takes 320,000 silver coins. So even with whatever they pay you for running the battle, you always lose money on this. But they are giving you a thing right now where a whole bunch of different goals. And each, each goal you make, you get... Uh, 500 of the coal. This is actually one of my favorite maps. I just think it's a pretty nice looking map. And I do like the little circle right over there. Um, I do not really care for the maps where stuff drops. And unfortunately this is one. Even though I'm here in the center, I think I'm going to stick over by these mountains and get some cover. Maybe I'll go this way. Yeah, I'm going to go that way. I'm just going to go that way, move in just a little bit to like the sea line. Um, maybe I'll even go right around. I'll go, I'm going to go jump from, let's see. So let's go, we're going to go here, jump around this island, and then we'll sit right there. So there. I mean, normally we don't use this stupid autopilot, but... That's a pretty good lineup. So these ones, as you can tell, you can pretty much turn your mouse and show whichever direction you want right away. And let's see if we have any new players here. See if I know anybody. I don't think I know anybody. Um, we're testing different microphones right now. This is the, not the webcam microphone, but the condenser microphone. And this is with audio from the actual computer at about 25%. The microphone is pretty close to the speaker, so we're going to hear the audio from that too. It could be echoed. Some nice ships over here. Do I want to fire on that guy? Eh, why not? Let's see if it hits. Palmer and slightly too far away. Let's fire again. You know, you can watch them. Yeah, there's the bullets right there, magically flying in midair. And it's a long, long flight. Our other bullets just missed over there. And boom, nothing. That's just some cool graphics, don't you think? So they think I'm going to go on the other side there, but I'm going to flip it around right now. See, everybody's behind a rock, and the Palmer's too far away. The Z-52 is hopefully going to get that bonus. So this is the problem of autopilot. It likes changing your speed up and down, and it actually makes you go quite a bit slower. This um, particular ship is actually really good at shooting down airplanes, so there's a pretty good chance. You know, we made 9,000 damage in just shooting down airplanes. All right, so we're gonna go for this Yammer girl. Let's get a little bit closer. We have some nice. So autopilot's off now. Come on, Yammer Girl. Or Yamagiri, I guess. I always just call Yammer Girl. <laughs> well, this guy's launching lots of torps. He's our Yamagiri. And I'm going to hide in his smoke for a few seconds. Oh, they actually survived? I thought they died. Dang. There we go. Got the D. Hey, 
actually said thank you. That was nice. You're welcome. Here we go. I hate that ship. I hear it's a good ship, but I don't know even how you can control it. It's like a CB, but it was really a BB. Back up. And he's going to be up here soon. And over here. You just got to kind of guess where you think they're going to go in about 20 seconds. So it takes 11.5 seconds to get there. And what are we doing? Okay, so I need to pop my own smoke. Because that other guy's smoke disappeared. There. There it is. Such a big target. Let's see, should I kill the other one? He's a lot closer. It's not really a good thing to switch like that. Okay, so we're gonna hit we're gonna heal now, because that was a pretty big hit. I wish the smoke dynamic was a little bit more clear, like, you know, who can see, who can't see you. And this guy's 12 kilometers away, and I have smoke, so hopefully he can't see me. I am still firing. Oh, jeez. Now I'm coming out of the smoke. And just one more hit right there. I don't like how they totally disappear, but that's okay. kids are playing in the other room. Okay. Now we're going to stop again. Okay, remember, we're really good at killing the airplanes. So, yeah, we killed half his airplane. Well, we killed a few of the airplanes. Just from... Yamagiri is getting under attack from those airplanes. They're a little out of my range now. Okay, so let's just... Let's just back into this little circle. It says 20 seconds from now, we'll get some reward. That's the more damage reward. So you get the beautiful airplane right here. And it's going to drop a big parachute. It's pretty kind of nice looking. And I'm going to basically try to back right into the circle. Let's just go straight now. in the circle now. So we picked it up. These ships love me, I'm sure. Airplanes. They're not even getting close and we're killing them all. We got them all. Killed all those airplanes. Alright, that was a dangerous hit again. That's what happens when I get out of the smoke. this island now. So if you go a lot slower, you can actually turn sharper. Just like a car. Oh, jeez. Now I'm getting hit from both sides. Three people. Three of them are attacking me. That's not good. I'm going to hit TR. Full speed. Let's get out of here. Surprise I made it. Yeah. I don't think they've adjusted to the fact that I'm going way faster now. Can you even hit this guy? We'll just spin all the way around. I guess I'll do my team a solid and hopefully get the buff in 10 seconds if I can survive that long. Come on. And we're done. The enemy team has taken the lead. Alright, let's see what we got here. This guy's way out there. Probably shouldn't even have bothered with him. And the Cursey Arge. Shefflin. So, 
the, one of the main reasons I play this game is because it is just really that beautiful. Look at the clouds, the beautiful ships. Also with the game, you can, I love after the game to fly around, you know, you got the good. I'm actually playing this in 4K, I'm only recording in 1080p, so. You get the straight up and down lines. Another one here. What's this map called? Sleeping Giant. I haven't really figured out why. Maybe that's supposed to be like an old volcano. And they all, a lot of maps have these little city villages here. This one has a pretty cool, like, uh, Japanese or Asian, you know, some sort of Asian theme. Chinese, maybe. Yin Yang. Maybe more Korean. Look at that. Okay. So I'd say that's, that looks a lot like, um, Chinese, something, I can't really read much Chinese, something, it's like a three maybe, that's the top middle, and then you have the village, you know, they even did the detail of the little cars driving around, I mean, yeah, it's not like that complicated, but I'm like, we're going to run into each other, yep, they ran right through each other. <laughs> yeah, I mean, who knew that there was all this going on, right? Alright, so let's go see what we're doing over here. So, we are probably going to lose. I would say almost definitely going to lose. So that's not how you fire torps. You know, you're supposed to fire them from the side. If you fire them straight on, you're not gonna... I don't understand. Like half the CV, I mean, I do play a lot of CV, and half the CV player, half the time when I play CV, I think I'm decent at it, but I, obviously a lot of people aren't. So, that was pretty good. The second volley was from the side, so... So we got the eagle. Look at all those torps. Okay. So let's see. I unfortunately think that, that one might actually be out of range. All those torps might. Well, let's see. Could have been a little bit more to the left. They're turning in for that big gap right there. Maybe we have a double one right there. Come on, don't go invisible. Boom, two. Two hits. Right at the perfect range. Wow. If he would have turned away instead of turning in, he would have avoided them all. There it is again. So who is he firing at? Well, it's dead. So the only ships we have left is our um, CV. Do you want to go see the CV? Let's go look at it. The Feels like Top Gun. Oh, he has the bright yellow. Oh, that's a really cool camouflage. Definitely some sort of techie camouflage. Let's see what it looks like from the side. Pirate flag on the teal. A lot of flags. This guy's paying some good money to fight us. Okay. 
people. Here's the end. Ooh, six twerps. Pretty much they're all gonna hit. No, maybe not the back one. Oh, not the front one either. So four torps hit. What a battle. Not even close. I got one. Yay. Back to port. So I was trying to show you over here is the combat missions. So get 10 destroyed ribbons, 500. Get a total of 1,200 ribbons. Get base XP. And then 10 battles. So that one is the one I just got just now. So I was in the top 5. Not bad. Alright, let's try it again. <clears throat> Hopefully we'll get a little bit better team this time. Well... It was a, that was a much better team than the previous game. Yeah, it's an expensive ship, but it's a ship that anybody can get just by earning that. Um, I have a couple ships, mostly tier 9 ships, tier 9 premiums, that easily earn 2 million credits uh, per per battle. So with earning 2 million credits per battle, you know, spending 50 million on getting the Edgar, it was definitely um, not that hard. I still have about, I think, 40 million left after doing it. Alright, let's start the battle. Alright, another one of these maps without any targets to go after. So let's just go hide behind this rock. So to plan this game, here's the mouse. Um, we're going to go hide behind this rock, probably stop right around there. And then anybody that enters this area here, we're just going to lob um, shells at them. I might even show you the special little mode to get this, what this uh, ship has. If you're about ready to lose somebody, you can hit F. And it changes the firing mode to active firing mode. Which, it shoots three volleys and each volley is actually 50% more damage too so all in all it's four and a half times as much damage so yeah four and a half times as much damage pretty cool the um, drawback is so if you shoot on the regular one you can reload in about three less than four seconds a little over three seconds if you shoot with the letter F, it takes almost 30 seconds to reload, which is a lot longer. So you only really want to do it if you're pretty sure you can kill the enemy, or if you're about ready to die, or if you're about ready to take cover, and you need and you can and you have that time to reload. Okay. Yeah, the other guy's saying stay in chat till game ends. I usually do that. At least on these um, random battles. Unless I'm so disgusted with it, then I won't. So does Sumatra want, or Satsuma? We will possibly divert our course a little so we can attack him. So we're gonna keep that rock between him and I for a while. Okay, I guess that didn't work. <laughs> nice beach here. 
I'm glad I changed my position. And, you know, as I said before, this ship loves killing airplanes. And are they coming after me? Nope, they're not coming after me. They're just flying around. And let's go around here. And we will start blowing this guy up. I'm going to hit, uh, let's just launch a ton of torpedoes to attack. Wow! So that is the problem with this ship. One decent little battle and you're almost always dead. Maybe it's just I haven't played it enough. I got 18,000 damage on these people. I think my torpedoes are still out there flying around. Yeah, they're not going to hit anything. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's... who's that? Well... Bummer. Yes. Having a ship be so close and still invisible is, uh... Very sketchy. So, those tropes aren't hitting anything. So, the Hanover guy is pretty much running out to nowhere. Hopefully, our team forgets him. Key area appears soon. So, we have killed two of theirs. They've only killed me. So, so here's another thing. We got this nice little airport they've made. And you got little trucks driving. There's a lot of steel over here. I wish I could grab that steel. As you know, might not know, steel is one of the most important things in the game. I mean, there's lots of vehicles, but there's no people in this game. We'd definitely like to see some people walking around, or troops marching, or even somebody on the ships a little bit. It's this green stuff. Like barrels, so oh, those are the ones for barrels. And we got the tents over here, more crates, some random airplanes parked in positions where they can't do anything. A little tower. You know, they put a lot of design in this. Then you have the waves, you have the different colors. You know, one of the things I do like about this game a lot is this teal color. Where you can where you're actually seeing the light reflect off the sand underneath the water, that's that's just pretty cool. You know, here it's a little bit more shallow, so you got a lot more of the teal color. That's very real. I mean, that is just yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. Anyway, this one map has a volcano. We have to go look at the volcano. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't look that real to me. Kind of like expanding. The gas part doesn't look so real. This is a lot better looking. Still, you know. You're not really supposed to be looking at this close up. I mean, it definitely does not look very real to me. It's almost laughable, actually. It is laughable. So the smoke. Now one thing that they should do with the smoke is if an airplane flies into the smoke. And first off, why on earth is the smoke disappearing when you get closer to it? That's not what's supposed to happen. And if you fly through it, your engine's going to get cut up and seized. They should make it where if you fly through the smoke like this, it doesn't disappear at all and you actually might crash. So this is a... Let's see if anybody's gonna see this. Looks like our looks like our um, sub is going for it, and he got it. Yay! So we will most likely win this battle. So you get twenty points, and they lose twenty every time you get that. If you hold letter A, you get tens. 10 points every 2 seconds, which 
obliterate doesn't exist yet. Look at that. Mecklenburg. <clears throat> it's like a, um, a lot like a palm ring. So hopefully our team going to quickly and easily capture A. We have already have a quarter of the way done. You can see the little sonic waves. Um, first off, pings don't go in directions like that. That's not how a ping works. Yeah, I don't know. Subs need some help. So there's some more little pings and other little things. Ooh, wow, shiny. Now that's a skin I like. Wow, what the heck. Kremlin, Kremlin. Man, that's very shiny. I don't even know if my graphics card is even having issues with the reflections on that. Okay. the same there's two volcanoes this is the dead volcano not totally cold there's another dead volcano and there's the other one over here And then these, I don't know if they were volcanoes. Ah, so maybe this was all supposed to be one giant volcano, with maybe that being the center, kind of where Annapolis is. I mean, this game is beautiful, isn't it? Conquer. Man, that sure takes a long time to capture. We captured A. Yeah, every two seconds getting ten points. That's racking up the points ridiculously quick. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. Every two, ten points every two seconds. Wow. That ship's about to die. We hope if someone can get some bullets at it. Here's some bullets. Let's watch. Yeah, made a dent. Hmm. I like the camo on that. It's not bad. Attention. 
Maybe we're gonna go this way. Yeah. <laughs> Six more seconds until we win. And. That's it. So I did not do very good. See so yeah, this one this one this thing cost three sixty. I made one forty six. Eleven hundred, that would have been enough to earn a bonus on the other thing. So we got some we got some decent points down here here. Back to port. So combat missions. You know, did not make top five, obviously. Getting that grinding down. I uh, got some more ribbons over there. You know, this is a lot of, of coal, and let me show you what we're doing with coal. So, you go to the, the thing right here, you go to armory. You know, you can look at all the different ships. Then you go to coal ships. Now, they give you some coupons. I'm still deciding basically between Monopoly and the Emilion Man, whatever. So, I do play a lot with my my CV and this particular CV is a tier 10 so it'll be a lot better than the tier uh, 7 CV or tier 8 CV I have now the one I have now is also a German and this one would be a German it does have high secondary armament damage and I do have my guy is trained up really high so I'll be able to pop him into this one and already have 18 skill points so that'll be really nice Right now, it, it, it's supposed to do 198. I mean, it needs 198 to buy it. I'm only 27,000 away. Uh, we have until no December 9th. So that's about a month away. I think that'll be very easy. I, I usually earn about 2,000 coal per day. Um, they did change the system a little bit, and I'm earning a little bit less now. They had this new battle pass system. So, over here, if, if I pay 2,500 gold coins, which is about, what is that, 10 bucks, 12 bucks, I'll be able to earn it a lot quicker. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to buy that. I really wanted to get this ship here, so my, my plan was, um, you know, this has about a month, so 30 days left. I was going to see if I can get all the way to 50, and if I get to 50, um, then I'm definitely going to buy it, because I want that ship. Um, even though it's not a great ship, it's a tier 7, but... You know, a nice, really cool cruiser. That would be cool. I don't have a Japanese cruiser at all, so. And there's a lot of extra um, coal if you do make it all the way there. And remember, 500 steel can be traded for 5,000 um, coal. But you definitely don't want to do that because the, the steel is a lot better. So you only do that in a last resort situation. Like if your coupon's expiring tomorrow and you need to buy something now. Um, I did have to use some of my steel last time to do that. I, other than that, I've been saving steel since the beginning of the game. And you don't really get a lot of opportunities to earn steel. So I did spend most of my steel on that other one. But I only have 1,356 steel. So, you know, 500 steel is a pretty big deal. We have the Japanese tokens, which is this level here. Um, these things are pretty much impossible to go up. You have to do them in order. Um, eh, that's not bad. You get a, that's a nice little ship. But you need to have all of these. You need 100 plus 200 plus 300 plus 400. So now we're at 1,000, 1,500. So you would need 2,100 Japanese tokens to get this. Um, and I've only earned, earned 25. So, I mean, 25 at all. So it, I literally need almost a hundred times as much as I've earned and that's with playing a lot of battles already so it's not really that you know they make this stuff either you have to be playing 10 15 hours to, to even get close to it I mean 10 like 10 hours a day for like a month or a couple weeks just to get that if you really wanted to do that it's not really clear to me how to even earn these now, of course, you can just buy them. They always give you the, um, let's see, open. So here, if you just want to buy some, yeah. If you want to spend a thousand doubloons. And that's per bundle. 
So you want one little thing here? Okay, that's a thousand. You want another one? Oh, that's another thousand. You want another one? That's another thousand. So you can spend 63,000 doubloons. Now, to give you an idea, you know, 12,500 doubloons is 50 bucks. 50,000 doubloons is $200. I mean, that's ridiculous. So, I mean, yes, it is a beautiful game and we want to give money to them. So, you know, I do buy things from time to time. But 60 bucks? Yeah, no, I'm going to I'm going to go to a restaurant and give them money instead. Yeah. All right, what do you guys want to see next? Let's see. Let's go with I mean, let's go with that and we'll pick the Pomeran and we'll have just a little fun battle. Cuz, you know, co-op battles, the Pomeran's super fun. You can blow up a lot of stuff. Um, it's very tanky, so you can just get right really close to people. It's, you know, unless you're getting twerped by somebody, which happens a lot, actually, now, recently. Um, you can get pretty close and have a pretty good battle. Oh, Warrior's Path. I need to explore this one. I'm trying to see if this goat, or whatever you call that, actual ram, not a goat, whatever, if it actually exists. I was going to go explore the borders of it to try to find... Um, but this is only the third time I've ever actually seen this map. Alright, we got two Pomerans, three Pomerans. Oh, that's the enemy. So, uh, we're at nine, and most everybody here is not a nine. So, we go full speed, and we will just capture A real quick. Now, honestly, in these games against the computers, capturing, it's not really something you even need to bother with. Because you're going to easily win... You know, I don't think I've even lost three matches ever that were co-op. So you're going to win the match no matter what. And you get a lot more points by blowing up ships. So usually it's not worth it to get points faster by capping. So. But you do get a little bit of points capping, so I'll do it. Seattle's going that way. So here you have the choice. Either you can follow the Seattle... Or I can go into letter A. I'm going to let the Seattle pass. So this BB is interesting. Uh, it was one of the first BBs I remember, well, the first one I ever had, that actually could shoot torpedoes. And it does some pretty decent torpedoes. Um, and at the time when it came out being able to do torpedoes, most... BBs did not have torpedoes, and I think most still don't, but it's a lot more common. But when this one first came out, you know, people would come right up to you, and you could slam them with torpedoes, and I don't think a lot of people understood um, that this one was easily, you know, going to kill people with torpedoes. Another thing I find really interesting about the box in this game is they do like to ram people a lot. Okay, so let's just go for the Baltimore. I have to turn a little bit to the uh, right here because I need to bring my rear guns in. Okay, we're just going to kill our sister ship, the other Pomeran. It's going really slow, so we're just going to hit right for the front of it. I want to hit for the front of it in case it actually stops and reverses. At least I'll still... So it's like pretty much stopped now. So, we got a little bit of hit on it. Definitely, if, if it was going faster... It's hard to determine the speed now. I used to have a mod for this, but all my mods, okay, now it's going a lot faster. You can always look at the smoke and how, you know, see my smoke's pretty much flat. It's pretty much flat. It means it's going on a pretty good clip. And let's blind hit because it lost the lock. Well, two pens, not bad. As I said, we don't need to cap. I'm pulling in to the side here because I I know they've probably already fired weapons towards my general direction. Our team has taken the lead. There's another cool castle over there. So at this range, aiming, even aiming for a DD is just dumb. You're not going to hit the DD. The chance is so low. Cruisers are a little bit better to hit. 
you'll still probably miss. So I'm going to wait for this palm to come around this little hill right here. I'm going to swing around at the same time. And come on, come on, come on. And got it. So he's pretty close, only 11 away. Now, I have this particular palm rim. I have fully upgraded its um, secondaries. So if I can just get within 10, I will kill them. I'm going to slow down here because I'm going to... Well, it's too late now. I'm not going to be able to cap the area because it's... Yeah, I'll be out of the area before the 18. So spamming the trigger button right when it's about ready to do it gives you maximum reload. Oof, duh. Someone killed the Palmer. Our victory is in sight. Okay, there's another one over here. Baltimore. It's kind of a small ship. There's a lot of dead ships over here. Wow. It's a small but fast ship. Let's see what we can do. Normally we don't launch AP over at... Um, well, these are dead anyway. Okay, game over. So what I like about the Palmerin, you could definitely earn money. You know, 127000 it only cost 33 to service it, and you know made 180 right there. Not very good any of the other stats. Okay. What else you guys want to see? Why don't we do a graph zeppelin? So let's play against other humans, random battle, and so to show you this, we have the, he already has a 17, I got some little bonuses right here, armor layout, it's pretty, pretty weak, pretty weak, equipment, you know, again, I've modified this one, one of the benefits of this is having really awesome secondaries, so this one has really good AA defense, um, but we have this secondary armament that actually scores a 9. So the secondaries on this are better than a lot of the DDs out there. And um, what's nice about this particular build is I can hide behind a rock, which lets, which makes them get kind of close to me so they can torp me or something. And as soon as they get close to me, all my secondaries explode on them. And I've had, I've had battles where two or even three DDs have come at me and I've been able to kill all of them with just using secondaries. So it's really a big surprise to most people. I, I like doing things that are like a surprise. Oh, this one's a really cool map. Tears of the Desert. It's like a, it's as if you took like the Arizona desert, like a Monument Valley or something, and you filled it with water. That's the way I look at this map. That's definitely very Monument Valley looking over here. I wouldn't even be surprised if that's real. Like, real picture. Living in Arizona, this is very much what our scape looks like. Except for the water, of course. Alright, where do we want to go? So, it's, it's not really important to... It's not really important to start moving your CV right away. It's much more important to start moving your airplanes. So, if you think about where we are right here, we're on this diagonal line from E1 all the way to J5. So you would just imagine that they're on the same diagonal line. So they're going to be somewhere around A6 all the way to E10. So what I'm going to do is, you see the little circle around my airplanes, the dotted green line? Look at that red salt place. Anyway, so I'm going to make sure that dotted line gets about to A6. And then I'm, right before it gets to A6, I'm going to make a quick uh, right-hand turn. And I'm going to go down their whole line, which is going to expose all their ships. <clears throat> so I'm not even at A6 yet, and I've already found two. So there should be, you know, we're going to be able to see all their ships real quick. 
Normally we don't bother attacking, and we usually go at full speed because they like to kill. Wow, these ships are a little, little bit harder. So we are not a, a tier 10, and if you are in a fight with tier 9s and tier 10s, which we obviously are, um, your, your CV is not very good then. You know, so that was it right there. So we have been able to find 10 of the 12 enemies. And I believe that's a big help for our team. Obviously, we can kind of see which direction they're going in. We also can kind of see where they're at. So now we'll, let's launch um, torpedoes. And while we're doing the torpedoes, let's look at our place. So I think if we hide behind this rock right here, that gives us a big advantage of um, being able to you know defend the circle while still letting people come around the corners and me destroying them so they're asking a month okay so Okay, so this particular CV, let me give you the advice on how to kill things. So you want to basically be hitting things on their side. You want to hit the button to go down right around 6 kilometers. So right there, 5.9. Hit the button to go around. So when you're right here, you do not want to use your keyboard to steer your airplanes. And there we go. You want to make sure right... Let's see. So now we're going to move around. And I just think we're going to get 3 hits on that guy. And this airplane's probably going to die before it gets a chance to make another video. Yeah, it died. Okay, so we got three hits on him. That was nice. 8,000 damage. Not a, not what I really like. So we're running low on those other ships. So let's, let's do these ones here, the rockets. The rockets are not that great. They used to be a lot easier. You just would click and hit. Uh, now they put this like, like, it's like a seven second timer on them. So you have to click the button like where you want to hit, and then you got to wait seven seconds before they actually hit, and half the time the enemy moves out, so you have to go so far ahead of them, and then they always want to turn. So the whole entire uh, thing is pretty, pretty difficult. So let's see, we can go after a lion. So I usually try to avoid cruisers, because cruisers have a lot of um, anti-aircraft, and it's just too much anti-aircraft. And of course you want to avoid ships that are clustered together, because then you get both their anti-aircrafts, you know, and that's not a good thing. Okay, so their, their CV saw where I'm at right now, but that doesn't matter because I'm still moving. So there's a Siegfried over here. Come on. So let me show you how this works. So you have to click way in front of them. Like right there, usually a little bit before, and then your green circle, and of course, look at that. Look at that. That's why you don't like playing these games. Okay, that, that, I didn't realize that that particular rock sucks, so we're going to go over here. And I do know that when you do the uh, automatic pilot, sometimes it doesn't really aim correctly. Alright, let's launch again. So we have three ships over here. Don't know why they're not. Why they're there? That doesn't make sense. So this is Zuma right here is in a pretty good spot. Not really protected by other ones and not moving very fast. So that's a great combo. And of course, there's a little Helena hiding right there. And the opposite, it has massive. Still not moving, still not moving, still not moving. And attack. Alright, we should be able to get three hits on that one. He's still backing up. Come on, come on. Normally I don't wait, but... Not bad, not bad. Put a little bit of extra gas into that. So if we can hide right behind this rock, that'll be nice. Okay, level number three.
So these ones are some of the easiest ones to fire. Um, you know, they don't have all the negatives of the torpedoes. You just point and click. Unfortunately, it only lets you do two airplanes, which kind of sucks. So you click right there, and right there. Boom. And only, so one over pen and one pen. So let's go right and swing around. Let's hit the button to speed up a little bit. Minnesota's crashing himself into the beach. So that's nice for us. And we only got two airplanes to click. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't die, don't. It's very frustrating playing a CV sometimes. I see that guy's coming around the rocks over there, so let's move our CV just a little forward to hide just a little bit better behind these rocks. Oops, there's another one over there. And that one's even closer. Now, the nice thing about that one is it might actually be close enough for secondaries. So I'm going to select him. You hold down control when you click on him. And um, I'm going to rotate our, our ship a little bit in that direction. And someone saw us, I guess. And you never really know where these torpedoes come from. It's just random torpedoes flying around. You know, swimming around. Right, let's go. Let's just use the airplanes. <coughs> So I've had this ship for basically two years now. This was the every black year on Black Friday, you get a really nice ship. So rem remember to always play on Black Friday. Um, wow, wow, see, and they hit my ship. Wow, suck it. So let's see, should we do torps? Yeah, we'll do torps. Minnesota again. Oh, Lion, Lion, and Helena. Okay, so what's nice about when there's two ships overlapping like this, you can just fire at one of them, and if you miss, you can sometimes hit the second one. So we might actually hit that guy. Come on, come on. Oh my god. Seriously? That is just pitiful. Hit a full. Well, it's harder to hit this guy, but he's so close to dead that I might be able to. We just lost our ship, too, so that's great. Uh, I think they intentionally make it impossible to hit the cruisers. Anyway, we lost our ship. We lost everything. Yeah, 30,000 in damage. A lot of ribbons. Not a lot, but, I mean, a decent amount. Both these ships are dead now. I'm not... Not anything I did, but you know. And you still got the Minnesota over here. Okay. I don't think I'm going to stick around this map. The enemy team has taken the lead. We're so far behind. Actually, I was supposed to stay around. I want to go find the goat. Oh, jeez. I don't know. I was on the previous map, but we didn't. We left that one. Uh, let's just play Minotaur. I haven't really showed you guys Minotaur. Um, this one we'll just do a co-op battle because it's pretty fun. So this one has um, it's it's the one right before the Edgar. So it only has five guns instead of the six that the Edgar has. Um, each gun having two two barrels. Um, one stupid thing about this ship is the they can't do a 360 degree turn like the ones on the Edgar do it, it, it doesn't let you go past the center so it makes it go all the way around uh, really stupid because they obviously are the same guns with the same distance um, they could easily make them do 360 but for some reason they don't so we don't you know not very good I have noticed that on the Edgar for some reason I mean, I mean, on the Minotaur versus the Edgar, for some reason I can survive a lot longer. 
So let's go right there between those two rocks. So. Okay. Okay, so right there we have Minotaur. This one also is a beast when it comes to A. So see right there, when the guns stop, and if you want to go around to the other side, I mean, and there's really no reason they stop. They could easily keep going around. I, I don't understand why. So watch, let them watch, watch them rip apart those airplanes. You know, the airplanes have to regret coming close to me. Look at that. And we got... Let's see, we did 17,000 damage to airplanes just then. So even though they do hit the wall there, if you see how fast they turn around, that's not so bad. Alright, let's see. There's some, definitely some bad guys over here. So we'll, we'll rotate around um, so that we can bring all of our guns on that ship. Really? So I'm going to target over here. And I don't usually, as I said before, I don't usually use autopilot because it's slow. But if you're going through tight little things while you're, you know, you don't need to be bothered with the tight, you know, finicky steering when I can just go through it right there. So all my enemies are invisible. We're going to hit Y here in a second. I'll be able to see where they're at, and just in case they launch torps at us. That's also a Minotaur. So, Wargaming isn't, you know, too creative. Basically, whatever the one team has, they almost exactly copy for the other team. So, you know, straight down the line. Eagle and the United States are pretty much the same. Okay. So, I disabled the autopilot because I want to be able to hit this guy a little bit harder. We want, to, we want to at least we launch torpedoes at this guy. Man, we're going to miss like half of them. But we'll hit enough of them, hopefully. Wow, we did not hit enough of them. Wow. Okay. Well, that's enough for this little session. Thanks.